Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have all had a good week. This is episode 2 of uh, this Star Wars Fantasy Folk War discussion. But firstly, Bad Batch has been delayed. Previously, I did that the Bad Batch would come out later February, early March, in between Boba Fett and Kenobi. However, it has reportedly been. I don't know when. All we know is that it's. Under coming soon. Yeah, um, it's very annoying. I was expecting to get it in between now and uh, Kenobi, between Boba and Kenobi. Well, yeah, if you but... think about it, because it's like a 10 to 15 episode show, so it's around 10 to 12 weeks. Let's just say three. Um, so the either it's now in between it. No, because there's what the hundred day periods so they could fit it in, or directly the next only good time for it is after Kenobi. I mean, Kenobi and Andor. September, October. Yeah, that would be the best time yeah. for it, but then it can't be after. But the thing is, with well, Kenobi, has um has actually the Mandalorian been confirmed for December? It's been confirmed 2023, and I think did some stuff about it being. It wasn't I swear it was meant to be last year December? That was the first date. On our 2023. Yeah. The thing is, because the thing is about after Kenobi, is a bunch of comic book coming out is that they're kind of extending hype from. So I don't yeah. know if they'll want to put that on top of it. Am I? I think they would. I think they would because if you think about it, not there is it's only a small proportion of people who will actually buy those books and those comics compared to how many people will watch the show. I guess they're so kind I of think... making the most of the Kenobi hype as well. Really like, yeah. Um, I guess now they're kind of leaving it apps. Try and build hype. Kenobi. Maybe if there if there was bad batch now. Oh yeah, well, not oh yeah, but like, but I had Star Wars like a little break. Oh yeah, we got Kenobi now. But there's that hundred day wait period. Really building up. Because I doubt they would. I doubt they would put two Disney Plus shows on it. I yeah, highly they, they doubt they do that. They wouldn't do that. So really, but, I, the only time is July, August, but, but then I guess you or also next year. Gotta think, or next year, but I guess you also got to think: Would they also cross a Marvel and Star Wars show? Well, basically, Star Wars stuff. Yeah, after as soon as Kenobi starts, there's only like a month break in between, or everything. If everything goes as planned. So but technically, it's on the end of the rest of the year, right? I don't see them waiting two years between Mandalorian seasons. So. Yeah, that does seem and crazy. I guess what when did be the Bad Batch for? Oh, season one, sorry, because it started May 4th, I guess. Jones, maybe. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Yeah, I think, I think they'll release it maybe a month after Kenobi, or two or three weeks after Kenobi. Yeah, I guess they could. A year and a half for a edit show. Yeah, I doubt it. It doesn't seem right, especially for one that's only got 10 to 15 episodes. Exactly, yeah. I don't know what the print goes into that. Yeah. Was, but also, when do you think we'll get the um, Kenobi trailer? Yeah, hopefully in the next few weeks. I, I well, was Kenobi saying. It comes uh, out in a couple of months now. I was well, saying. Next month. No, two months. I was saying late March. I wouldn't be surprised if they drag it up even longer. They haven't given us anything though. Concept. But it doesn't concept out, but I think they'll wait. I want to see Vader, bro. I think they'll wait till late. Archer. Even honestly, I wouldn't be surprised late April. It's one month out. You know. mm. Anyways. Yeah. Second topic. Rumor came out that Star Wars Eclipse has had significant development issues. And is now targeting a 27 or 2028 release. Crazy. Five years, six years. Then, considering apparently the game began back in 2013. Yeah. So, it's so annoying, bro. Development Because they're using the Quantic Dream engine to create yeah. the game. Apparently, they've had 
because Quantic Dream's never done a multiplayer game before, so that's the first issue. Second issue, struggling to help create the big open worlds that they want in the game. So that's that's the problem with the engine. But then there's problems with the Quantic Dream company. A lot of vacancy. Ah, I saw something yeah. around 40 to 50 vacancy. Ah, not being able to get. And somebody was even looking to be hired by another company. Will the game even yeah. go ahead? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just cancel the game at this point. Well, if it gets cancelled, you know, either everything's... Either, yeah, the 27... 2027, 2020... Or it just gets canned, or another company... Takes... Takes a... Uh, takes the game. And it's 2030. There'll be even longer delay. No, it's to be honest. Because yeah. the, the, you know, they released that you know, trailer. But the trailer yeah, was only just concept art. It was just, oh, this is what we want the game to look like. It wasn't even footage from the game. I don't understand why they even released that um, concept art or the trailer. The hype doesn't if, last five years. If they're just going to do that for five years. That's just annoying. But I was expecting to get it next year. Yeah, because what? Um, at LEGO this year, hopefully, all in all, either end of this year or next year. And then that Ubisoft open world hype. Yeah. And this even that Ubisoft 2026 and then it was 20. That's tough. That's, that's annoying. It's very annoying. I think they can get a lot of backlash for that. It was exciting as well. What? We'll yeah, probably just, good. just leave it. Like, I don't know what. Because well, it, it's in conjunction with High Republic, right? So, yeah. Conjunction with. That's what you think, but I guess not. Very weird. Yeah, because what? The High Republic books, you know. After that, they need some sort of game or show, movie adaptation. Yeah, books just not enough. I, I think they need a TV show or a movie because well, I game would have been enough got, at least the start. A game would have been enough to start, but it's in my opinion, it hasn't got the amount of hype that they would have thought it would have had, or the reception they thought they would get for it. Because everyone wanted Old Republic. Not fun. Yeah, that's very true. So. Uh, anyway, I think we'll leave it there. It's been a bit of a dry week, except for those two pretty big topics. And what we're hoping can be trailers soon, so we can do a full video just talking about that. There'll probably be a longer one. Uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching. See you next week. Thank you guys.